Hi all, welcome to another video of Angular Primary series. In this video, I will show an example using Angular and Primary, which is a select all and deselect all option. Once we click on the select all, all the checkboxes will get selected, and once we click on deselect all, all the checkboxes will be deselected. So I am implementing this functionality or this example using Angular Reactive Form and PrimeNG checkbox and using the PrimeNG buttons. Let's get into the code. Since we are using a Reactive Form, uh, PrimeNG buttons and PrimeNG checkboxes, we have to import everything in the app.module.ts. In this example, in this project, I already set up the Angular and already set up the install prime ng prime flex and prime icons and that has been imported in the angular.json style sheets and also i created a interface called category.ts which have a label and value as a category props so why i created this category props is since i have to use all the checkboxes i am just creating a static json with the label and value for showing this category 1 category 2 3 4 and 5 okay so this is the json i already created for that okay so before getting detailed into that structure let me introduce let me add those modules in the app.module.ts okay the first one is angular reactive form module reactive forms module needs to be imported from angular forms then button module for showing the select all and deselect all buttons then checkbox from the checkbox module once all the modules has been imported our next step is we have to show the checkbox okay five checkbox so in order to show that five checkbox we have to get a value of the five checkboxes either you can get it from the api in your case some, there will be some api you can call the api and get the values or you can statically return in ts file so my case i am just statically return in the app.component.ts file so above the constructor i am just adding that variable and the category props is a uh, interface i have added which is showing label and value i am just importing that one once that has been imported the next step is since we are using a reactive forms module we have to create a form which contains a checkbox so let me create a form before that import that particular form builder form builder in the project once that has been imported so form builder also has been imported once that has been imported you can create a form okay just i am just writing my form equal to this dot fb dot fb dot group and i am giving this one as the category list And here I am giving a name called selected category and I am creating array and I will initialize the selected category with an empty array okay so once the basic setup has been done let's go to the HTML we have to create a form first which have a form group form group equal to my form group 
that is a my phone okay then we need a button so let me search for the button so the button will be either p button or the button itself so i am just adding two buttons here one is for select all and another is for is for deselect all deselect all and on select all you can click and write a function select all and here also i am just writing a function click equal to d select all then you can see d i am just putting this function now now we have buttons now next thing is we have to show you have to show the check boxes so what you have to do you have to take the category list and iterate the category list and each label and value should be displayed as a check box for that what you have to do first is you have to create a div then put a ng for loop and then iterate that category let category of category list okay then we will get the category dot label and category dot value so here next i am going to import the prime ng checkbox so prime ng checkbox in order to use the prime ng checkbox with the form control instead of form control name you have to use the form control okay so what you can do is e check box let me check b is a small letter sorry so e check box then form control equal to form control equal to our form name our form name is my form then to access our selected category you have to first give controls dot then selected category okay so this is how you have to use the form control then in order to show a value so each checkbox should have a unique value but the form control should be the common okay form control should be the same for all check boxes but the value should be different okay so since the category each object is different i'm giving a category as the object so once i check click on the check box whatever i am giving the category in the value that will be pushed into an array okay so i will show that uh, how it will work so the value will be category either you can give category or you can give category dot value if you are giving category dot value every time when you click on the check boxes category value will getting pushed here category object is getting pushed okay so now i am preferring this one okay in my scenario i can show you why so the check box has been implemented so after saving you can check everything is coming okay so some design we have to fix it so i'm just giving a class called margin type 2 and here i am giving a class uh, prime ng class called field checkbox checkbox okay then since it doesn't have any label i am giving a label also and i am giving a for as the category dot value then since we are giving for here there should be an id 
then input id equal to category so this also square bracket square bracket category dot value and the label should be category dot label saving it let's see all all things has been organized well so select all deselect all i just put only button so you can see once you can check it has been selected so while you click on the select all you have to you have to get this particular state so if you go to the inspect and console so here since the value is category i'm just writing a function called on change change checkbox you just uh, i'm writing this function just to show how this is working okay so i'm just writing a function change checkbox and i'm just showing console dot log of either you can access this dot my home dot either you can use the controls dot selected categories let me selected category or you can use my form dot value dot selected category anything is fine okay so if i click on checkbox you can see there is an option called value inside the value you can see how many uh, array different array and since we are giving a value here a value as an object so the category is an object so if you are giving category dot value it will be array so let me um, let me change something to value okay sorry value dot selected category then you will get a better idea so if i click on for change array in each array it will get pushed each category will be pushed on click so when you click on check file all the elements getting pushed into the array okay so if you add category dot value sorry category dot value instead of the object you can see only the string is getting pushed that means the value only is getting pushed okay so my case why i am okay why i am preferring a category because if you click on the select all in order to select everything you can simply assign the category list to this particular selected category okay so for doing that easy uh, you know for making it easy i am doing that way so what you can do how to manipulate this particular selected category so this dot my form dot controls dot selected category dot set value then you have to assign our category list so on click on select all everything needs to be all the values needs to be pushed okay so why this is showing error because here you have to mention the type also so mention the type as category array so set value this dot category list so before the error was i didn't uh, added this and after added this also if you are removing this you can see there was some other error also will come okay so you can see here if you click on select all all the options will be selected in the same way if you deselect all you can make it as an empty array select all deselect all select all if you click on select all 
this selector. So, this is how we can easily implement a selector and deselector in the primary checkboxes using angular reactive forms.